Hi guys, we're here at Carndu um, Mansion. Um, we're just going to do a wee walkabout here because the weather is so bad. Um, the building is so dilapidated. It's so bad. Like, like I think it's going to be really hard doing the investigation in here while it's pouring down outside. Um, as you can see, it's absolutely lashing down. So, we're going to do a wee walk around here show you how bad this building is. Um, the building has planning permission. So we don't know if we're gonna get back in here. Um, don't know what's happening. So me and Gary are just gonna have a wee walk around here and see what happens and I'll document the building. Um, hope you enjoy. See, the ground's all collapsed in. Um, the roof's not doing too well, like. <laughs> um, this used to be the staircases going up to the upper floors. Um, it was pretty cool being able to go up on the floor when that was a. Uh, in good neck like but it's, it's totally trash like it's just so dangerous as you can see I've been coming to this building for years and I've had so much paranormal activity in this building. It's crazy. It's really hard to do any type of paranormal with the, the weather being so bad. This is the main centre of the building. As you can see, staircases, everything's gone. The staircase used to go up there and work its way around. And the floor's not great like. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've actually done the Ouija board in that bathtub <laughs> years ago. Um, mad times. Very active location. Such a pelly. But it's good it's getting a a full redone. Full okay, I think it's gonna be holiday when was it? Retirement? Retire retirement um village. Look at that. Oh riff all come down. You don't want any of this falling on your head. You have to watch your footstep too. It's a bit dark and dingy in there. Oh, there's a well here. Going up there. At least there's nothing to fall on my head here. Tiles. This has came down recently. This wasn't that bad the last time I was here. This ain't good. What was that? I just heard a woman. Right, I just heard a woman. That's only me and Gary here. 
There's a woman's voice there. I don't even know where Gary is. <laughs> Could be other people in the in the building. In all fairness, so I won't say it's paranormal yet. Right on. To me, this is the creepiest bit. I don't like this bit at all. Down where all the tiles are down here. Oh Jesus. See her walking along these. Keep her feet dry. Oh fuck, I don't have them. At least yes, we run. Oh, it's not as good anymore. See when all the hedges are up and it's all the greenery. It looks class. That's the same guy. I have another location that has that in the sack, same writing. He's coming. I've got a picture on my on my page. I'm just walking through the water. Fuck, it's like a shower here. It's absolutely pissing down. Die here for creeps me out. I think a lot of people, a lot of teams come down here and do the Ouija board. Thanks to Dreyer's room in the, in the building. It's the warmest too, it's actually warm in here. So a lot of activity goes on. In here. I'm guessing it was a kitchen or something. Gary there, I said the guy heard a woman's voice and Gary said he heard a big thud but then thought it maybe was me, calling out for me. I never heard him. So it wasn't you then? It wasn't, I, don't, I don't remember making any thoughts. I've recorded all this so I'll just check but the woman's voice is a bit strange. Um, like, like this here, is this one of the, the lighter signs aren't you? Yeah. But you said it's absolutely passion now, unless they're real stocks, I don't think we'll get much. Investigating done, it's more of an explorer, I think he's the the man. Yeah. Um need to definitely get back here once dry. I heard someone, I heard a voice there. Yeah. Heard a voice. There is other outbuildings that other people may be in that we need to go and check out. But it's definitely on a night like this. Heavy like maybe a week. Still early. Still early, like. Unless you're desperate. Still it's early. Not, it's not even tea time yet. So Plenty of time to go. Right, so Gary's just heard someone, I heard a voice there, so 
We're going to have a wee investigation here and see who's there was anyone about. I know, it's really bad. The quietest room is actually that one way in the corner where everyone does the Ouija board. Show it so it risk these stairs. Yeah, it's just a high step there. They're usually sturdy enough. When you get up round right up around the corner. So you get a look up what the forward. Well this will be a TSO my big ass on it. Here with I get off. <laughs> Someone's kicked their way oh, through in this one. In here. Oh, it's quieter in here, isn't it? That's really creepy. I use a certain, even if my, my crap microphone. But even look at the roof. The, the roof actually isn't that bad, Nick. Right, so, Nick, they've kicked through there so they can get through the other side yeah. and walk around. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This gets worse and worse every time you return, doesn't it? See, that's a wall. Is that a wall? Yeah. It's not a wall, it's a door frame. I remember we were able to run around up here, get up on top of all these ones. That door with no <laughs> <laughs> no fat pastor beyond this point. That was up hanging, sure. That was up, that was up here. Did you go upstairs? Remember I said these when you me and me and Dave was in? He says I'll not be going up there, I don't want no fat bastards up. I don't know but I think it's sturdy enough, but well <laughs> Well I don't know about that. That's, that's not even the tats of the wall now. Yeah. Is there anybody here that would like to make contact with us? Any spirits still attached to this building? Maybe Mrs. and Mr. Dixon still here? There's a lot of noise with the elements outside, but if you're willing to make a more distinctive sound so we can distinguish whether it's the elements or yourselves. Even if you were to speak to us it would be even better. We've heard voices in here before, people talking. What about some dead come on? Ah, fire it up. Fire some dead come on here. Stir things up a bit. And see what the crack is. Going to airplane mode here. Yeah. There we go. So if Dad come on here and uh the S L S I well swear I keep that a voice. Some? Yeah that was a voice, yeah. We both heard that. Your head turned I noticed it at the same time, so it was like a man going, Yeah. Yeah. That was definitely list. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Are we on your list of people who are trespassing? <laughs> Please don't hurt us. <laughs> What's that? It sounded close. This is where I got the stones from. Yeah. We, you you know, were there, weren't you? Like, it sounded like a. Were you here? Somebody breathing in, but they've got like a like chest infection. Like. Yeah. But were you here when the stones skip? Yes. Skip from, look, that wind is all boarded up. So yeah. where did the, the yeah. stones, like the, someone threw That's a stone? Right. Yeah, so stone, someone threw a stone downstairs and it was a good summer's day. That wasn't when we were here. It wasn't like the elements outside. Can you throw it on the floor? Admit. Admit what? Did we do anything here last night? <laughs> 
Whoa. Could be anyone. Is that you? What did you hear? I was moving my camera. Sound like a thud in the distance. I moved Can my you camera. Thud? Yeah, yeah, maybe it was. Can you thud really hard? Bang anywhere in the fabric of the building we should hear. We don't scar easily, so work away. We don't mind. Maybe if you can bring forward the sound of someone whistling. That would be very distinctive. The dead comes doing nothing. It's quiet. It's quiet. Hurt. Who got hurt? Can you tell us who got hurt? Were you hurt because you were left behind? Were you hurt because people trespassed in the building? Are you hurt because of the state of the building? Did someone come here to visit and maybe got hurt and you're warning us? If you can... Tr what the fuck was that? What did you just... Really close here. Yeah, yeah. But it was like it was like a flash. That? Egg. Egg. It was like something like flashed or something in the corner. That's weird. Egg. Move? Yeah, if I wrote down. Right. The um, you do know your buildings. Are they keeping the front of it? They'll, probably, they'll, keep. they'll keep as much as they can. The front facade, they'll keep. Um, I there. would say the outer shell, they'll keep the, everything inside. It'll just be gutted out. Yeah. With this building getting turned into a retirement village, it's going to have more life in it. It's going to have a lot of people. It's going to help a lot of people. A lot of people that need help in their daily living might come here and. Maybe that would be maybe that would make you happy. You'd be happy having loads of new people in your building. Living. Yep. Sounds are off from the dead. Body. Body. You usually have bodies. It's body friendship. Yeah, Isn't you have it? lots of friendships with new people. I would, I would say that Jews would prefer people who were very vulnerable being cared for in here rather than delinquents coming in, destroying the place. Folks like us coming along and disturbing your peace. We're just documenting it. We're not... What was that? She needed liars. More. She needed liars? That was my recording starting. It's a little bit of a yeah. Why would she need liars? She need liars. Well, they were high society, so they were obviously involved with politics and stuff like that. Regret. Do you regret what's happened to this building? Do you regret what you've done? Do you have remorse? Do you regret maybe? The whole house is being stripped of its its contents. Is, is that what you mean? It means you have to get your kit off, Gary. No, I don't want that. <laughs> Stars will come down. The rest of the paint will come off the walls. Your camo on my malfunction. Activity. Right. Where's the activity? Could you maybe give tour. a name? Tour. Do you want us? To, do you want to take us on a tour of the building? If you were to take us a tour of the building, it would have to be in a safe direction. If you want us to follow you, you could make a sound, and we could make our way towards that sound.
Is that you? The sensor on the day con. So Carl was saying that there's a there's a sensor built in there. Dad. Dad. Oh is that you, Mr. Dixon? Yeah. Other vibration. Can you tell us where to go? Mr. Dixon, if that's you, can you whistle to us and we can maybe pinpoint where you are? If I whistle, can you whistle back? I'm going to whistle and if you whistle back, we can sort of pinpoint where you are. If you can't whistle, and you tap Her really hard, Her holiday. Could you tap really hard on, on the fabric of the building like this? I swear I've seen someone, thought someone was down there. Where? There. Underneath? Yeah, like a shadow. Oh. Could have been just from the camera or something. As you can see, this has turned into a wee bit of an investigation now. What do you hear? I heard a female's voice, a young female's voice. Can we maybe... That's where I heard it. See, see there? there? See there? That's where I heard the female voice. Did someone walked in maybe? What I that thought? Was so distinct. Um, you, made a you were talking there? We were recording? Yeah. It should. Right, so that's another female voice that Gary's caught there now. I went back, I went and done an intro saying we're just going to do an explore here because of the, the elements but we are getting a lot of paranormal activity now so we are so it's went from an explore to we, paranormal we've asked it to try and be more distinct because of the signs of the rain and yeah. stuff so we seem to be getting voice phenomena so yep yeah, let's go and investigate let's this go one has been caught is this the right yeah I, down this corner here Farm, it says, came up with this farm. Yeah, there's loads of gardens now outside this place. World. World. This is the kitchen here. Is the cooker not still there? So the, the, if this was the kitchen, right? Yeah. See that room where everyone does the Ouija board way in the corner? Uh -huh. It's fully tiled from head to toe. What was it? A storage room or something? Showering area, but then you think the hospital here. You have to think more modern. Very. When you have a health setting, everything's got it out, and it's 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 um it's upgraded to the standard it would need to be when it's a health facility. Uh huh. So, come from a hey. health background, you get tiled you get tiled areas everywhere, man, because people are getting showered. Yeah. Feel. That's where everyone's getting the activity down there then, yeah. so yeah, so you're saying it could be short or something. Cool. Did you hear that? I heard something, yeah. That was like a man now, that was like a ooh. Help. That was a ooh. Everyone's outside. What'd you hear? You sure there's no one here? Hurt. There might be someone here, this is the thing. Can't help, hurt.
Adamant Garden. Adamant Garden. Serious. And that's twice the garden was mentioned. <laughs> Your bag's open, mate, just in case anything falls open, yeah, it's wide open. Don't want you losing it. <sighs> you think someone's opened it for you? <laughs> Here. Where are you? Did I ever see down here where I hear this girl's voice? Now I'm not saying something's happened, but I'm saying is see right in them steps mm -hmm. years ago before I first started coming here, there was a whole load of girls' clothes. Like I'd say like teenagers' clothes, dresses and things all lying on the stairs uh -huh. so they were like someone had just left them or someone something I don't know what's I'm not saying something's happened I'm just saying it's a bit weird that there's a load of girls clothes where we're hearing like a woman's voice or a girl's voice ah. well that's it I mean hurt again it's hurt twice all gone here. Hurt. Was the person here hurt? That's hurt three times. No. Basically in a row. Well, man. Is there a girl called Carrie here? Can you let me hear your voice? Whoa, did you hear that? A no, I just asked for Carrie to make a loud noise. Are you not beside Gary? Are you need near Gary? Are you okay? You can barely talk. Fuck. I swear I thought I seen something there. Growth? Is that you showing yourself? Do you keep walking across the the hall? You. You? Here. Can we hear you, please? Uh, sure. Thank you. Hurt. Were you hurting here? Lazy kind. Is he too strong for you?
not the best idea doing an investigation in the pissing rain, but we're actually hearing women's voices. We're hearing a man's voice. Um, obviously the bangs and the creaks and cracks and all that stuff we have to dismiss could be happening. But when you're actually hearing voices, um, it's hard to dismiss unless there's a person, as I say, in the building, which the weather's pretty bad and uh, not many sane people will be in here, I don't think. Um, but we'll walk around. Still. So we'll walk around and see what happens. See if anyone actually is in the building. Where are you? Watch is that hole. What's that fucking floor? Here, buddy, right? You're getting a lot of activity. You were talking. Was it carry? Yeah, that's for carry. I slap fly. I slap fly. But I literally says, um, "Can I hear your voice?" And she went, "Sure." Yeah. Well, there was bangs up the stairs as well. I'm like thugs. I'm not coming here, buddy. It's pushing down. Are you still with us, Carrie? Yes. Carrie, not Gary. <laughs> Every time we talk about her, it says hurt on the deaf dead calm. And it kept coming up saying his strength and then hurt and then obviously her name. Yeah. So she's making contact then? Yeah. Do you not hear thudding? Correct. Well I walked up them steps, probably right. couldn't be me there. Well, that wasn't me. That was sound like above you. you. It, the big thud, yeah. Watch above you, because that, that's not looking too safe. Can you thud one more time? What was that? Did you hear? Oh, it's Mickey Birds, is it? Can you do that thud one more time? That was not there. What is that? What are you here? Water, water. Nice I've come closer. Head from. Head from. Where did you used to hide? Is that where the noise is coming from? Is it where you're hiding? They didn't know. Did they not know where you were when you were hiding? Where did you hide? Where did you hide? Feel. Did you feel safe when you were hiding? Or you felt scared? Tiled area down there is so creepy, man. Yeah, that's why I, I did the walk around, and literally the first thing I said was the tiled area down there is just creepy as fuck. Don't even know if I can zoom in now. There we go. Well, I do apologise for being ignorant. My name's Gary. I came from Belfast to pay your the beautiful building here a visit. 
My friend here is Neil. He's from quite close by, Carrick Fergus. We would like to just spend our time here this evening trying to distinguish the fact that spirits remain in this realm, basically. So if you're connected to this building, we are here to communicate with you. We're not here to cause any damage or any disrespect. If in any way you do think we're being disrespectful, you let us know and we'll gladly leave. I know there's so much that we never got to investigate. Protective gear, a couple of step ladders. <laughs> you know? I've been up the roof, I've been up around all them there I'm there, but it was That's the most dog. it was the most sketchiest thing I've done. <laughs> it was it wasn't too safe, I'll tell you that much. Were you abused? Oh shit! Fucking, I fell in a hole. Were you abused in here? Emotion. Emotional. Emotional abuse. That is one of the most common forms of abuse in healthcare. Emotional and financial and physical. What the fuck was that? I'm not gonna do well, ready for you to go. That's me, but it's not you. That was like a scream. That was someone going, ah! Were you abused in this place? When you were meant to be getting taken care of? You can come close to us and pick up our energy. If you need any more energy, to do whatever you need to do to make yourself known. You can come close to us. You can pass through our bodies, you can pass close to our equipment. We don't mean you no harm. So there was just like a scream or something. What sound like a scream? I think just, just as I was blowing the water off my fucking lens, the camera's soaked. I've been pouring down in here. But there's Calm. definitely voices coming from around this building. And it's not the building. It's not like creaks or cracks, it's proper voices. I'll go this way and see where we Say flat. Um, flat. It says emotional abuse, calm, flat. Well, that rain was meant to stop. That must, there must be people in. People somewhere because I just heard a load of voices all together. Hello? Hello? Oh, I heard that. Right, so the camera keeps malfunctioning too. Every time we hear voices, I heard a bunch of like. Bunch, a bunch of kids or something so we did and there's no one about like so as soon as I heard that my camera shut off stopped recording so and then plus Gary stopped too so I don't know what's going on um, so I had to go back there and check that actually don't want to see what's going on there so we're asking here to see if it wants us to leave the building um, because it keeps coming through on dead calm hurt 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 
I don't know if it's a warning that the roof's going to come down because it's in bad, bad state. So we're sort of like thinking we better get out before it does go down because the wind is so strong. Um, would you like us to leave this building? If you would like us to leave this building, would you give us a sign? I can hear a dog. See in this section, we always used to see this extra large man, like it must have been seven foot. And he used to always hide between them between them walls and duck in and out and stuff and all. Jeez. And he was always shy and stuff and all. Um Five. So like I haven't seen him the last few times I've been here. Just keep looking up, going. <laughs> I know. Look at that, it's dangling there. It's actually waving back and forth. Right, guys, stand under this, bit at least. Now it's seen out of the union. I'm standing under this here. Spiked in the head. To try and get a bit of protection. Gary's out there in the in the elements. Well. I did come from the crazy culture, built bonfires, you know. <laughs> Head out here. Okay. Would you like us to leave? Above. Above? Right, Gary, come on. <laughs> I keep saying above, the hurt. I am not wanting a plank of wood or a roof on my neighbour. Ha ha. Dad just laughed at me. <laughs> he just went, ha ha. <laughs> Be the last time we're ever here. Sad. This could be. Yeah. Could be the last time you ever get the chance to say goodbye. One last sign for the road. Looks class with your light. Thank you for all the good times, all the activity. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Please remain in this building. Don't follow us home. Yes, yeah, stay here. We wish you happier times in the marvellous place that this will become. Caring for the vulnerable and the sick. So that's us just going to head out of the building here, just in the hallway here. It's absolutely lashing outside and the wind's so bad. So that was a bit of an explorer and a 
bit of paranormal at the same time. Not exactly what we wanted, but it was still really good. Um, hopefully, uh, don't know if we'll ever get back here, but maybe you never know. Um, go follow Spook Explorer and I, and give me a like and a is it a subscribe? Is it yeah. like and subscribe? Oh, and, oh warmer. You and uh, think we were doing this for years? Sound like amateurs, don't we? <laughs> This is pure amateur, trust me. So it is. Apologise for the, the camera work and the editing. Right? See you later. Bye.